back. It's traffic all the way. It's been over an hour I've been sitting out here. And you know what's so depressing? You look at the other side and these cars are just flying past. <laughs> and we over here stuck. And I got my kids in the car with me. But you know what? It just made me think of something. That's how life is sometimes. I always tell people we thank God for the doors that he opens, but sometimes you gotta thank God for the doors he closes. And sometimes you're gonna be here just waiting for your turn. And you gotta learn that when you see your brothers and sisters passing by, being blessed, being victorious, you see how they coming by? I rejoice with them, I'm happy for them. I'm not hating on them as they go by in the opposite direction because everybody says, oh, I'm waiting on God, but how are you waiting? What kind of attitude are you waiting with when you're waiting for your victory, when you're waiting for your turn to be blessed? Do you sit there and get aggravated? Do you sit there and stop worshiping? Do you stop praising because things aren't on your timing? You gotta understand, he said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God could be preventing, you know, preventing me from running into a situation up there. I've been over here for an hour just watching the cars go past on the other side, but it just kind of made me think, man, that, you know, God's timing is always perfect. And I wanna encourage you, maybe a relationship, kind of hit like this you know a standstill a stop maybe a job or whatever it is and sometimes God allows that to happen for you to just kind of self-reflect it's kind of like me doing this live video I'm sitting here now because I've been here so long I say hey let me do something productive with my time but it's the same thing with you maybe something's not working in your life and we're quick to want to say oh it's the devil it's the devil start rebuking the devil but sometimes God allows you to be at a standstill because he's trying to teach you something about yourself. He's trying to show you something about yourself. And once you learn that, he'll clear your path for you. Because sometimes your gifts and your drive will take you places your character won't keep you. So there's things that God is trying to change about you. Remember, God gave Joseph the vision, but then he put Joseph in the pit and he put Joseph in the prison. So Joseph was kind of sitting here, how I am in all this traffic, just waiting like, man, God, I thought you told me we was going in this direction. You know, but now I'm stuck here. But the thing is, while Joseph was in the pit and he was in the prison, God was working on him. God was preparing him for his future, for his calling. And if he didn't go uh, through the pit process and the prison process, Joseph would never become what God was calling him to become. So don't get upset when things don't happen on your timing and don't even get discouraged because you might just be delayed, but not denied. Sometimes just because you hit a slow season, you know, Maybe one season you're flying like this. Check it out. You see how these cars fly past? It's easy to praise. It's easy to worship. It just seems like everything is going smooth. And then some seasons you're going to hit a season like this. And it's not going to be as smooth. And you're going to have to learn to be a little bit more patient. Sometimes God allows you to be in a situation like this just to work your patience. Why? Because life has ups and downs. Life ain't always going to be smooth. Sometimes the enemy's going to put some roadblocks in your path. Sometimes you're going to run into a couple of accidents, difficult people. So God will put you in a situation like this just to work your patience, to get your patience game strong. Sometimes getting in a situation like this allows the fruits of the Spirit to be more active in your life, right? Because you're sitting there and you don't have a choice but to trust God. You don't have a choice but to wait. So a lot of people say, oh, I'm waiting on God, but how are you waiting? What kind of attitude are you waiting with? Can you sit here in this traffic jam of life and this traffic jam of your relationship and the traffic jam of your finances and still give God the praise and still give God the worship? I know you want everything just to flow like this, right? You just want the finances to flow in. You just want the blessings to flow in. But God is saying, no, sometimes he's gonna give it, give it to you the slow route so you can learn to appreciate what you have. Right, Because you had to fight for it, because you had to wait for it, because you had to press for it, because you've been waiting for that husband so long, that wife so long, now you appreciate it. But some of us, we never learned the lesson. Look, they got this little barrier right here for your protection. And some of you get impatient and you say, no, I'm going to make a U-turn right here. I'm going to bust through the barrier. And you just keep jumping in relationship after relationship, situation after situation, trying to fix things on your own. And so you're going in the opposite direction. What God has for you is this way. But since you want to take a shortcut and you go beyond the protective barrier, a lot of times, like I said, it's not the devil. It's your bad decisions. It's you not following biblical principle. Real faith says I can sit in this traffic jam of life 
and still do what the Bible says. I can sit in this traffic jam of life and still trust God, even though it's not on my timing, even though I would like God to work a little bit faster. You know what? I know that he says he knows the very number of hairs on my head. He knows something that I don't know. He sees something that I don't see. So there's a reason why I'm waiting here. There's a reason why I'm still single. There's a reason why I didn't get that promotion yet. There's a reason why Joseph didn't just go straight to the palace and he had to go to the pit and the prison first. There's a reason why I didn't get my miracle yet. There's a reason why I didn't get my deliverance yet. There's a reason why I didn't get my breakthrough. Sometimes God puts you in a situation like this and he says, how you like me now? Are you still going to work?